must Jesus bear the cross alone and all the world go free. No, there's a cross for everyone and there's a cross for me. We pray. Father in heaven this morning, we pause another time, dear God, just to give you thanks and praise for your many wonderful blessings that you have stored upon us. Dear Jesus, we thank you for carrying us out through the dark watches of the night, dear God. Mm. None of us, dear God, have been called out by that cold hand of death. We still have an opportunity, dear God, to give you thanks and praise. Father, we don't have the words, dear God, enough to thank you for all your blessings on us. But dear Jesus, this morning we come to you, not on our strength, dear God, but on your strength, dear God. Father, we want, first of all, that to ask you to forgive us, dear God, for the many times that we have failed you, Lord. Father, we pray that you will wash our hearts clean, dear God. And Father, I pray that our prayers will come to you, dear God, and you will answer. Dear Jesus, we want to thank you for every person that is tuning in this morning to this prayer meeting. We thank you for this opportunity, dear God, for Father, we might not be able to see or meet each other because of what we are going through, dear God. But we know, dear God, that you are with us because that's the promise that you gave us. You promised that you will never leave us, nor will you forsake us. Dear God, we present our members, dear God, who are working night after day and day just to mm. help, Lord, to keep our borders safe. We remember, dear God, the defense force officers, mm -hmm. the doctors, the nurses. Dear God, we thank you for what you are doing in our lives. Mm. And Father, not forgetting our pastor and his family, dear God. Yes. We pray that you will continue yes. to keep them in the hollow of your hand. And Father, our speaker this morning, Pastor Rami, Father, I pray that the words that he speak will also be able to help to bring persons closer to you, dear Jesus. Father, our members, our marriages, dear God, we pray for you. Mm. Bless each husband, each wife, dear God. We Help pray. them, Lord, to carry out their responsibilities and to love and cherish one another. Jesus. Father, I pray that mm. you will help us, dear God, to be faithful to you so that when you return, dear God, none of us will be lost, dear God, but we will be able to hail you with great joy and gladness, dear God. This is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 The Martimus. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. One was blind, but now I see. Was grace that taught my heart to fail, and grace my fears really. How precious thing that grace to bear. The hour I first believed. Through many dangers, toils, and snares, we have already come. Was grace that bore us safe as far, and grace that brought us home. Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. 
Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. Amen. 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 Wonderful. Amen, amen. Thanks very much. Go ahead. Learn. Heavenly power. Now I know that the Lord saves his anointed. He will answer him from his holy heaven with saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. Psalms 26 and 7. They are to contend with supernatural forces. They are assured of supernatural help. All the intelligences of heaven are in this army, and more than angels are in the ranks. The Holy Spirit, the representative of the captain of the Lord of hosts, comes down to direct the battle. Our infirmities may be many, our sins and mistakes grievous, but the grace of God is for all who seek it with contrition. The power of the omnipotence is enlisted in behalf of those who trust in God. Isaiah page 352. Do you sometimes wish that you could see the army of angels around your home, mm -hmm. your life, and your family? Consider the story of Elisha and what happened when God opened the eyes of his servant. Mm. Imagine how the fear of his servant was replaced with faith when he saw the chariots of fire. What other stories in the Bible can you think of where God opened the eyes of men and women to see angels? Amen. Amen, Ella. A very fitting word for this morning. And now, <laughs> Pastor Leonardo Ramin. everybody good morning everybody good morning i trust that you had a wonderful evening and that god has been very good to you mm -hmm. it's a joy to be with you this morning again and to be able to share god's word with you for the next few moments oh yes i want to invite you to bow your heads with me as we pray Father in heaven, we thank you so very much for your love and your faithfulness to us. And we thank you for how you've been with us throughout the night, for waking us up this morning and giving us a, another opportunity to be in the land of the living. Today, Lord, we have come now to open thy word. Speak to us and let us know what is thy will for us, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 There is a text in the book of Matthew, the fifth chapter that we oftentimes repeat. And I believe that it's vital to us even now as we are in this segment of our lives. Matthew chapter five, verse 44. Here is what the Bible says. But I say unto you, love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Mm -hmm. Do good to them that hate you and pray for them which despitefully use you. But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you. You know, the truth is that this is a guideline for the followers of Jesus Christ. And it is paradoxical to the natural inclination of man. In other words, we are not usually naturally lovers, mm -hmm. but we are more fighters. Mm -hmm. And the normal reaction by man, and I'm talking about human beings, is for us to measure in kind. In other words, we love those who love us. And we hate those who hate us. And that is why the world is plagued by this constant war and bloodshed. But Jesus came to show us a different way of doing things. He was a game changer. The Son of God came into this world and he came to change man's concept of the proper relationship to others. I want to pause here this morning just to say to us 
that as we pray morning after morning, mm -hmm. we must take time to evaluate our personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. But our personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ ought to be reflected in how we relate one to another. Mm -hmm. You know, the truth is that only Bible Christianity has the solution to the mutual hostility of man to man. Mm -hmm. And so here is what Jesus says. He says, I know that this is contrary to what you would normally do and how you would feel. But Jesus says, instead of fighting with your enemies, he says, love your enemies. Mm -hmm. You know, this is the divine order for everybody who claims to be a follower of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. You ask me, why is this the case? Well, the truth is that God is love. And, uh, and when I think about the love of Christ, the Bible makes it very clear in verse 45 of Matthew chapter 5 that God reigns on the just and the unjust. He maketh his son to rise on the evil and on the good. Mm -hmm. And the truth is that God could save his son. He can save the rain just for those who follow him and those who are good to him. Mm -hmm. But he doesn't do that. Not at all. He allows his rain to fall on the just and the unjust. The blessings to fall on the just and the unjust. And, and, and then when I think about it, God loved us even when we were enemies to him mm -hmm. in that he gave his only begotten son to die for us. Mm -hmm. Now that is, that is really powerful. And I don't speak as one who has arrived, but I think I speak as one who is on the path. And I, and I say to us this morning that this is the command of God that if we're going to be what God wants us to be, we have to learn to do for our enemies what is not normally natural for us to do. You know, the truth is that if and when we are born of God, the Bible reminds us that it is the spirit of God that dwells within us. And I want to read a text, a passage of scripture for us, because I believe it is vitally important. Romans chapter 5, look at it, verses 5 to 8. The Bible says it this way. Romans chapter 5, verses 5 through 8. He says, now hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, who was given to us. For when we were still without strength in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. Mm -hmm. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die, yet perhaps for a God man, someone would even dare to die. But God demonstrated his own love toward us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. What matchless love is that? You know, Paul somehow expresses this truth in words mm -hmm. because Paul says the love of Christ constraineth us. Amen. And so, brothers and sisters, you know, it simply says that you and I have to love our enemies. That's what we're praying for. You know, when we talk about loving an enemy, it is a mark of a changed human nature mm. from the carnal to the divine. Mm -hmm. You want to know when you are when you have, 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 have gone from darkness into light, when you could love those who you know and you have proof and evidence that they don't love you. Have mercy. And they hate you. Mm. But yet you can still smile and you can still help and you can still encourage. You know that you have moved from darkness into light. Mm. You know, I think about 
how, how David lamented over Saul. And Saul was one who tried to kill David. Mm. I, I think about how David sorrowed over Absalom, mm -hmm. who sought to kill him. And the man of God prayed for the king that sought to kill him. Mm -hmm. Brothers and sisters, if, if we're going to be what God wants us to be, we can't rejoice over the life of our enemies. Mm -hmm. You will have them. But we have to love them. Mm -hmm. And so, and so the, when we talk about loving the enemy, it is the evidence of a new heart and a new spirit. Amen. It is a sign that Christ dwells in our hearts through faith. Mm -hmm. So I want to say to us this morning that we, when we talk about this kind of love, this love is really benevolent because the truth is that this love blesses those who least deserve it. And, and, and it's important to us because when we are doing this, mm -hmm. we are showing that we have the mind of Christ mm -hmm. and we are behaving in the spirit of God. You know, John 3, 16 tells us, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Whosoever, whosoever should believe in him shall not what? Perish. Perish, but have everlasting life. You know, God is still giving life. Mm -hmm. He is still breathing in all things. Mm. But not only is this love benevolent that I'm talking about this morning, this love, listen to me, it is long suffering. Mm -hmm. You know, the Bible tells us, uh, uh, Paul writes in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4, the Bible says, Love or charity mm -hmm. suffereth long and is kind. Mm -hmm. Long suffering, long suffering, brothers and sisters, is one of the attributes of God. I want you to picture, if you will, the long suffering of a mother toward her children. Think about it. She's not gonna give up on her child no matter what. Mm -hmm. And there seems to be no, no limit to it. This is the type of love that, that God has for his children, those who are in his care. Mm -hmm. Look at it, love all alone, love alone conquers enmity. Mm -hmm. You know, it did, it, did, it did in the experience of Joseph and his brethren. Joseph, Joseph, Joseph's brothers, they tried to kill him, but yet at the end of the day, they still had to come back to Egypt mm -hmm. and ask him for help. Mm -hmm. and, and, and Joseph, he helped them mm -hmm. in spite of all that they put him through. Mm -hmm. Brothers and sisters, it, it, it worked in the experience of, of, of Jacob, Mm -hmm. and, and, and I'm saying to you, and, and his brother Esau, mm -hmm. Jacob was able to say, as Esau said, you know, I, I see the face of God as it were in you. Mm -hmm. And so the truth is that it does, it does in, our, in, in the experience of every true child of God mm -hmm. in whom the love of Christ dwells. Mm -hmm. We must not look forward to getting back at others when they wrong us. Mm -hmm. But we must now allow people to see the love of Jesus in us. Amen. You know, and so, and so the truth is that love is of God. It is. And if God's spirit dwells in our hearts, mm -hmm. it will be as natural as it can be for us to love each other and to love our enemies. Amen. Amen. You know, to love our enemy and to pray for them as it is for the sun to shine upon the ungodly is what Jesus wants us to do. Mm -hmm. So Jesus put it this way. Look at this. And I'm winding this down. Jesus put it this way. He says, if you love them, and look at this, this is a hard lesson. This is a hard lesson for us to learn. Listen to what he says. And this is from Matthew 5, verse 46. Look at this. Mm -hmm. He says, 
if you love them which love you, mm -hmm. what reward have you? Mm -hmm. Do not even the publicans do the same? Mm. Yeah? If you love those who only love you, what reward have you? Do not even the publicans do the same? Mm -hmm. Listen to me. We are Seventh Day Adventist. Mm -hmm. We are bound. We are walking to the kingdom of God together. We have to get rid of hate in our hearts. Mm -hmm. We have to learn to be long suffering. We have to hold each other's hand and walk to the kingdom of God together. We got to love those who hate us. Amen. 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 You know, there is a sad note to be made in this connection because Jesus looking down through the stream of time to our very day, Listen to what Jesus says in Matthew 24, verse 12. And you talk about the signs of the time, how you know that Jesus is on his way. Look what Jesus says. He says, and because iniquity shall abound, because iniquity shall abound, he says, the love of many will wax cold. Mm -hmm. You know, he says, and the true witness Testify to the church of Ephesus, saying, in Revelation 2, verse 4, he says, Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, mm -hmm. because thou hast left thy first love. Have mercy. I am praying to God this morning. Mm -hmm. It could be said of us as it was said of the church at Philadelphia, the church of brotherly love. Mm -hmm. When you go to Revelation, the third chapter, and, and we see what Jesus says about the church there. I believe that this is of utmost importance, and I believe that mm -hmm. this is what the, needs to be said about us as born-again believers mm -hmm. who are bound for the kingdom of heaven. Here is it. He says, unto the angel of the church of Philadelphia, right? These things saith he who is holy, Mm -hmm. He was true. He who has the key of David, he who opens and no one shuts and shuts and no one opens. He says, I know your works. Mm -hmm. See, I have set before you an open door and no one can shut it. For you have a little strength, have kept my word and have not denied my name. Mm -hmm. He says, indeed, I will make those of the synagogue of Satan who say they are Jews and are not but lie. Indeed, I will make them come and worship before your feet and to know that I have loved you because you have kept my command mm -hmm. to persevere. I also will keep you from the hour of trial which shall come upon the whole world to okay. test those who dwell on the earth. Behold, I am coming quickly. Hold fast what you have mm -hmm. that no one may take your crown. No one. Finally says, he who overcomes, I will make him a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go out no more. I will write on him the name of my God, the name of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem, mm -hmm. which comes down out of heaven from God. And I will write on him my new name. Yes. Brothers and sisters, this morning, I leave you with that message mm -hmm. and may God help us today to be one who will be lovers of himself, We're talking about the Father, mm -hmm. Trinity, and lovers of each other. It says, love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and love thy neighbor as thyself. Amen. Let's love our enemies. Let's do good to them that despitefully uses us because love covers a multitude of sin. May Amen. God bless us as we pray this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So, Pastor Ramin, Amen. Amen. thank you very much. You will come back with our closing prayer for the believers. At this time, we're going to go to our prayer room. I will still give you your time. So, 
exactly. Um, so we're going to the prayer room. Um, the points are posted, but there's one thing I want you to pray for this morning. I want you to pray for Angel's Memorial Hospital in Jamaica. Angel's Memorial Hospital, they are now due in a conflict going on there. There was a pregnant woman who was registered there, according to the reports, and then she developed what they considered or they thought was COVID-19 symptom. And they already said that they were not prepared to um, deal with those events. They have an arrangement with the government to accept other patients. So they were trying to get her transfer out to another hospital. She eventually was, she had her baby, but she died sometime after and they are blaming the, well, a lot of accusation has been made against the hospital. So, and then just yesterday, a report in the newspaper said that the hospital was not um, certified. So all kinds of things are happening. So we want to pray that our institution will survive all of this. Also pray for our school, um, Bahamas Academy and the Northern Caribbean universities and all our schools around the world. Pray that they will survive um, this situation. So I want you to be mindful of those things while you pray this morning, plus the specific need of our membership. So the rooms are open now. So please take your time and let's, let's pray and then Pastor Ramin will close it out in the end. Okay, we have some people remaining in this room. Are you hearing me? Hello, good morning. Good, mo good morning. Good morning. Okay, great, wonderful. Let's continue. Let's let's pray, please. Those who are remaining in this room, let's let's pray. Oh, Father and our God, this morning, Lord, we come before you. We thank you, Lord, for waking us up this morning, our sound night. We thank you, Lord, for your grace and your mercy, Lord. And as we come before you this morning, O oh God, we praise, dear Father, those on the front line this morning into your hands and into your care, O oh God. We ask you to protect each and every one this morning. O oh God, we pray for Bahamas Academy, O oh God. We pray for every student. We pray for the teachers. We pray, Lord, for every worker, O oh God. We are for ourselves, Lord. We cannot do nothing, but Lord, we place you before. We ask you to guide the way for us, O oh God. Give us the strength and the courage as we go from day to day. Lord, we are weak, O oh God, but Lord, we are depending on you. We thank you, Lord, for providing for us. We thank you for health and strength. And as we go day by day, Lord, we ask you to cover us under your blood. Keep us from every arms and danger. Mm -hmm. And Lord, when you shall come, O oh God, with the forgiveness of all our sins, we pray that you will save us in your kingdom. Be with each and every one of us in this prayer room this morning and our family, O oh God. Continue to strengthen us. Give us love and unity, dear God. And Lord, when you shall come, save us all in your kingdom. We pray for Christ's sake. Amen. Amen. Most gracious and loving, merciful Heavenly Father, we thank you for the privilege of being able to for your throne once. Mm. Thank you, my Lord, for your goodness, for your mercy, for your love, for the, the grace that you've extended to us so far. Mm -hmm. Our precious Lord, before we open the mouth, we ask that you forgive us of all our strength is small and righteous. Mm -hmm. Be with us so that our prayers are not hindered. Precious Lord, we you know the the things that are going on in our organization all over the world, mm -hmm. uh, and our education institutions and our medical institutions, dear Lord. We know that Satan would uh, would bring accusations and, and innuendos against us, dear Lord. He wants to shut us down because he, he, we know to witness that we're having in the world. Father, he's an opposite. But Father, you are you are in control. 
Father, take take charge. We pray as you always do. Yes. And bring us forth as as as, as gold that has been tried in the fire. Precious Lord, uh, the, those persons in the in the um, the room today, we ask that you view them in a special way. They have needs, Father. They have concerns. We ask that you would, you would cover them. You promised to to always be with us in your word, dear Lord. You said that you'd never ever forsake us. That you'd always be with us. Right. Father, help us help to have an all pervading sense of your presence as we go forward this day. Because Lord, sometimes we look at the situation and we forget that that we are in the, we are engraven. We've tattooed. Mm -hmm. We are tattooed in the palms of your hands, dear Lord. Help us to remember that. And, yes. and, and Father, whatever happens, we mm -hmm. ought to remember that you will promise. Mm -hmm. Lord, is us. Father, as we look at the situation, let us, look at, let us not look at the situation, but let us look at the promise that you've laid upon our hearts. Thank you, my Lord, for all the goodness that you've done to each and every one of us. Mm -hmm. Patient, dear Lord, be with us in a special way, because we know the things are so to break upon the world and mm -hmm. we need to be ready. Lord, we cannot make ourselves ready. It is you and your Holy Spirit who can make us ready. But Lord, um, touch, our, touch our hearts so that we will, we will turn our wills towards you and, and that we will allow you to get us ready. Precious Lord, as we ourselves to you, be with us this day, we pray in Jesus' name and for his sake. Amen. 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 Oh, Father and our God, we present before you the needs of our world church. Oh God, we are thankful for those who continue to return their tithes and offering. We continue to ask your protection for those who are still keeping them at home. That's your money, God, and I ask you for divine protection over it. Yes. We remember, Father, the those who are in the security forces as unrests are cropping up around the world people want to get back to work um we pray god that you will be with them give them wisdom in dealing with angry people at this time yeah, that's, that's. our father and our god we remember your institutions that you have set up around the world our schools our hospitals our sanitariums our health care facilities. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray, God, that you will sustain them. In a special way, God, we remember Andrew's Memorial Hospital. We ask for his leadership, oh, God. And um, in recent times, they have been embroiled in um, the situation that um, have cast them in negative light in the society an institution that has been operating for over a hundred years and bringing health and healing to the inhabitants of the region. We pray, O oh God, that your hands will be against all those who fight against your work. And we pray for those who serve in your work for heart of sympathy. And we pray, God, that they will learn to trust you more and more rather than relying, O oh God, on the arms of flesh. Oh God, we pray for our school. We pray, God, that you will cause parents to continue to contribute to the sustenance or to the payment of fees for their children, even in difficult times. And that, oh God, that, that the work of the school will go on. The school of the prophet is your institution. We see others are closing, oh God, but we pray that your school will be sustained in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes. Remember, oh God, Northern Caribbean University, over a hundred and years, that, that institution has established on the hill to be a yeah. beacon of light to the, to the community and to the world. Thousands, yes. oh God, have, have gone to that place and have gone back to their community as missionaries. We pray, oh God, that that institution will continue to be that beacon on the hill. And in this austerity measure that, oh God, your work and your institution will live on. Yes. Be with leadership, God. Remove selfishness and pride and allow the gentle, calm um, spirit of Jesus to reign within all their hearts. May that institution be attractive to the world that students will want to come and that contribution will come to sustain it. 
In the yes, mighty sir. name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Mm. Amen. 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 Covering role need to unmute the mic. No, I think she has a problem with connection. It's not connected. Oh. Um, so that's the problem. There are a few other persons in. I don't think they're hearing us. Once they're not seeing the mic, they are not connected to the audio system. So I don't think they're actually hearing us, but they can see our mouths moving, but I don't think they are hearing us. Okay, thank you very much, brother. This is the room. The way the room will close in a few seconds. Mm -hmm. Pastor is as happy as a new man. Thank you. Okay, Pastor Ramin, the rooms are closed now. We're given the opportunity to present the needs of your people before the Lord. Pastor Ramin. Gracious Father in heaven, this morning, we thank you for this privilege that we can come to you and we can pray, we can talk to you because you are a prayer answering God. Yes. And Father, we come in the power and the strength of Jesus Christ, Prince Emmanuel, who is God with us. And we know, God, that you have a plan for our lives. We pray, God. We know that we see through a glass dimly now. But we know that one day we're going to see face to face. Yes. And so, Father, this morning we are asking that you will take the scales of our eyes and that you will cause us to envision Mm -hmm. What is your will and your plan for us? Oh, Lord, we pray. I commit to you this morning each person on this prayer line. Oh, Lord, we pray. family represented. Mm -hmm. God, as our faces differ, so does our needs. This morning, I'm begging you, have mercy on each one of us. Oh, Lord, we pray. Father, I pray that you will prepare us for what is to come. Yes. That you will help us to look to you yes. as the author and the finisher of our faith. We pray, God. The truth is, God, that we are fighting daily a war that sometimes seems to be almost unbeatable. Yes. Like the Apostle Paul declares in Romans 7, the good we want to do, we don't do. Mm -hmm. And the evil we don't want to do, we find ourselves doing. But Jesus, this morning, he found the answer. Yes. And the answer was Jesus Christ. Yes. Well, he says, I thank God for Jesus who is there to rescue us. So God, this morning, help us to know that we have Michael who will stand up for us. We pray. Michael who will stand up for us. Mm -hmm. So help us, God, to stand up for him now. I pray, Jesus, that you will put love in our hearts for one another. I pray that you will help us to love our enemies, to do good to those who despitefully use us. Oh, yes. And I pray, oh God, that you will just allow this love to be manifested in everything we do and everywhere we go. Oh, yes. Help us, oh God, to understand that it's not about vengeance, it's not about us, mm -hmm. but it's all about you. Yes. Lord, we are living in the final days of Earth's history. And we need to show this love because that is the only way people are going to know mm -hmm. that we are your disciples if we have love one for another. Oh, Lord, we pray. Jesus, give us the love of Christ in our hearts, yeah. even for our enemies. I pray, Jesus, as we go out today or whatever we do today, that you will help us 
in every aspect of our lives. We pray, God. To be the kind of people you want us to be. Oh, Lord, we pray. Help us to share this love with our spouses, with our children, with our neighbors, with our enemies. And God, we will not forget to praise you and to thank you because of what you will do. Oh, Lord, we pray. Thank you for this group who pray every morning. Thank you for working in their lives. We pray, God. And Father, as a result of the constant praying, may our lives live to testify that we are walking with Jesus. Oh, Lord, we pray. I pray, Jesus, this morning, purify our minds, mm -hmm. transform our hearts, mm -hmm. and help us, Jesus, this morning. We pray this prayer in Jesus' name and for his sake. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Pastor. Thank you for coming. Thank all of you for coming. Um, and our guests, um, I see quite a few people there. Um, we are sorry that um, there are some people, oh, Sister Vernell was not able to, maybe she was not hearing us. And then I see um, there's somebody else there too. Um, Averin um, was not hearing us, I think, also. So I just, um, we will send out the recording so you can benefit if you're not hearing it. We are happy to have you. We officially finished. We'll stay around in the parking lot a little. So if you wish to talk, anything you wish to share, um, feel free. We're officially finished now. Thanks again, Pastor Ramin. Okay, good morning, good everybody. Day, everybody. Morning. Morning. Good morning. Morning, everybody. Morning. 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 Thanks, the Mortimers. You're sounding good. Yeah. Me and my two grandchildren. God right. be the good. Amen. Amen. Wonderful. Thanks. Yes. And I, I want to say, um, you remember um, a couple of mornings ago,